Last time on Fighting Foodons, Chase said goodbye to a faithful fruit salad. I'm sorry, Fruit Turtle. You were the best food on a chef could have. Chase can't blame himself for this. Although it meant losing a food on, he had to use that power topping against Rose Marinade. If he hadn't, she would have made him a glutton cook. I understand how you feel, son, but Fruit Turtle made this sacrifice so we could fight on. You should be celebrating Fruit Turtle's life, not mourning its passing. It's all part of being a food on chef. <sighs> Dad, Fruit Turtle was Chase's most powerful weapon. Now how is he ever going to defeat King Gorge and the Gluttons? Oh, there's a way, but we'll need to create a Fudon Deluxe of our own. To what? By using our Fudons and the ones from Rose Marinade, we can really whip up a winner. That sounds pretty difficult, Oslo. I never even heard of one. The trick is finding the right combination of ingredients. For instance, dim something special works well with Sir Dumpling. Then just add a shrimp dish and we're good to go. Of course, we'll still need a fourth Fudon. How are we supposed to find that? This is turning into a pretty big production. Well, in order to create a Fudon, on Deluxe, you need a fourth food on. And the tricky thing about the fourth food on is only the most talented of chefs can discover it. And even then, it's very hard. So we don't have any idea what we're looking for? We do have one clue. It's completely resistant to fire or heat. And when combined with the others, it can create one of the most powerful food on Deluxes known to man. The legendary Feast of Us. That sounds pretty, pretty scary. scary. Bye. These monsters once were edible, so everybody take a look at combat creatures you can cook. Fighting Foodons, fat or lean or in between. Fighting Foodons, this is really neat cuisine. Pick the right ingredients to make the food obedient. Depending on the spice you add, your food on could be really bad. Bad, bad, bad. Fighting Foodons, sugar fruit or even shoot. Fighting Foodons, it's fruit food with attitude. Carefully select your recipe. So we'll attack with gooey cheese. Power up the fried rice with some peas. What will win, Italian or Chinese? If anything's left over, you can freeze. So keep your kitchen for a brawl to start a kitchen free for all. And when your monster takes a fall, whip up a little matzo ball. Fighting food up, pseudo food or even shoot. Fighting food up, it's red food with attitude. Hey, did you hear that, Chase? Oslo said it's going to take a top chef to find that fourth food on. And with King Gorge on the warpath, we need to act quickly. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Huh? You know, I really hate to let you guys down. But why don't you fight your own battles? Chase, you don't mean that. Hey, <sighs> I know it's hard, son, but we've got to get back in the game. I just don't want to cook anymore. Ah, and I don't want to fight King Gorge. But you can't just back out now. Yeah, come on, Chase. We made it this far. And we have to find that fourth food on. Yeah, if you don't make a food on deluxe, we'll never defeat the gluttons. All right, this is getting us nowhere. If Chase doesn't want to fight, there's nothing we can say that'll change his mind. But we do need a chef, and we need one now. Albert, are you up for it? Huh? I'm serious, Albert. Your cooking skills are excellent, and you're really tough in battle. I know you can do a good job. It would be an honor to train with you, sir. But, Dad, what about Chase? You can't just give up on him now after all this time. Sorry, Kayla, but we're in a serious situation here. With Rose Marinade out of the picture, Gorge will probably send Chef Grill to do his dirty work. So we need to be ready. As for Chase, he could be the greatest chef in the world if he wanted to be. But talent means nothing without the will to succeed. All right, let's hit the road. Where to, Chef Jack? Feast of us calls for a shrimp food on, and I know someone who's got one. His name is Davy Gravy, and he used to be a hot pepper agent. Wait till Gorge hears about this. That's right, Your Highness. Chase doesn't want to battle anymore now that his fruit turtle is gone. Apparently, they're heading for Davy Gravy's cabin. There will be no more mistakes. You will bring me the boy or else. Understood, Your Highness. I've got just the dish for the occasion. Now serving tank and cheese. Tank and cheese. Fighting food Fighting food Ha! 
るふぅおじゃあ、that sure is a pretty wild story。so as you can see、Davy、we're really in a jam。do you think you and your shrimp food on can help us out。no。no way、Jose。I don't understand。look、I'm sorry、man。I'd really like to help you out。but I decided a while back that chilling in the woods in a log cabin was the life I wanted to live。yeah、I know that I was pretty active with the hot peppers back in the day。but I just got tired of fighting King Gorge and the glutton、so I hightailed it up here。That doesn't sound like the Davy Gravy I know, the toughest pepper of them all. Sure, Jack, back when I was running with the peppers, I fought the gluttons tooth and nail. But those days are long over, and now I just look out for numero uno. Besides, life in the woods is totally chill. And once you stop fighting and reject violence like I have, you'll feel exactly the same way. I'm sorry, but I think Davy Gravy makes a lot of sense. How do you mean? Why do we always have to go looking for trouble? If we just stay away from cities and stick to the countryside, we can be safe from any glutton attack. Then that way we wouldn't have to lose so many good foodons in battle. Chase? If that's the way you feel, son. Hey, Mr. Gravy, is there anything I can do to help out around here? Oh, you bet! You can start by helping Shrimp Daddy gather firewood. Come on, I'll be right back. Look, Jack, we can't interfere. This time, Chase is just gonna have to learn his lesson the hard way. Okay, but in the meantime, we've got a lot of intense training to do. Because no matter how silly Chase is acting, the rest of us can't let our guards down. Right, Albert? Right, Chef Jack. <laughs> hey, what is she trying to pull this time? Did you hear the news, Chase? Your dad's been training Albert really hard. Oh, that's great. Davy Gravy just gave me a job gathering firewood. It's too bad he didn't give you a job gathering your senses. Oh, man. Titan's right, Chase. Think of all the hard work and training you've put in. Why should I be a master chef anyway? Well, um, come on, Python. Huh? I don't know. Uh, wait, uh, hold on. Uh, hmm. If you become a master chef, all the pretty girls will want to go out with you. Pretty girls? Python, is that the best you can do? Yeah, Python. Huh? Chase doesn't need to bother with other girls when he's got me. Oh, no, Coco, you're doing it again. Stop blushing. <laughs> don't worry, Coco. I can help you with that. Hey, what are you doing, Kayla? Cut that out! Ow! That's really stupid. Boy, Davy, this is the life. If I ever sell my saucer and settle down, hmm. Right on. Who needs all that fussing and fighting when you've got paradise in your own backyard? You know what I'm saying, Oslo? <laughs> oh yes. Now tell me about that shrimp daddy of yours. Looks like Oslo's plan to butter up Davy Gravy is working. Maybe he'll let us use his shrimp daddy after all. Then we should put our heads together and try and figure out what that mysterious fourth food on is that's capable of tolerating fire and extreme heat. Hmm. Hello! Oh, over here! here. What are we? Chop liver! What are you meatballs trying to tell me? That because you were burnt to a crisp, you might be the fourth food on? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. What, what you say? Be serious, you guys! We, we never, never catch, catch a break! break. I've got an idea. Just follow me. <laughs> oh, I can almost see my reflection. Hey there, Oslo. Can we give you a hand with your saucer? Well, I'm just about finished, but if you give me a minute, there is something you can do for me. Man, this hot spring feels mucho bueno. So, Oslo, I've been thinking it over, and what if I told you I have a great idea for that fourth food on? I think the meatballs might be our missing link. I'd say you're full of baloney, Python. Huh? It's an interesting theory, but come on. Oh, no. Huh? And even if you did discover the right ingredients, we can't cook up a food on deluxe without Chase. Huh? <laughs> oh, thanks for the rub down. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I'm not full of baloney. Come here. <laughs> Say you're sorry, Help me! Hey, this is an adult swim. No little dudes allowed. <laughs> okay, we'll be good. Oh, oh, oh. Omelet! I'm sorry, Omelet. The water was too hot for you. But we're hanging tough. Yeah, you're right. You guys are the ones who got us into this whole big mess. Oh, 
you really know how to hurt a guy? Oh, 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 oh. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> ah, the welcoming committee. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Chef Grill. So you're the last of the big four, huh? Well, you're going down just like the others. So oh, really, old man? Well, you're going up against some big guns. And these guns will be pointed at you if you don't stop interrupting, Claudia. <laughs> Davy Gravy, the once great food on chef and now the pathetic peacenik. Prepare for battle. You gotta be kidding me! Do I look like I'm joking? Point that thing at my house. I'm afraid you don't have a choice. Tank and cheese. Tank and cheese. Ah! <laughs> oh no! They blew up my hot spring! Davy Gravy thought he could keep clear of Gorge. Unfortunately, you can run, but you can't hide from the gluttons. So should we come to his rescue, Chase? Or just stand here and watch? Uh, let's fight. Oh, man, I don't believe it! My beautiful home in Hot Springs just a pile of smoke and rubble! All those years of hard work down the drain! That Gorge will pay for this! I hate to say it, Kayla, but I don't think our friend finds the gluttons all that groovy anymore. Yeah, what happened to peace, love, and understanding, Mr. Gravy? That was before they pulled this stunt, but I've seen the light! And now it's lights out for those double-crossing gluttons! Shrimp Daddy, chop them up using your double-sized judo! Shrimp Daddy! Oh. 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 Shrimp Daddy! Take him, cheese! Cheese, shoot that shrimp down immediately! Shrimp daddy! Shrimp daddy! Shrimp daddy! Shrimp daddy! Oh, shrimp daddy! <laughs> Davy's about to lose his cool. <laughs> Stop, trap, and roll! Now that's what I call being in the hot seat. Shrimp daddy! Huh? <laughs> Tank and cheese. No, baby gravy. Shrimp daddy. 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 Don't let them get away. Tank and cheese. Tank and cheese. Shrimp daddy. Shrimp daddy. Shrimp daddy. Shrimp daddy. Shrimp Daddy! Shrimp Daddy! Take a cheese! Take a cheese! Shrimp Daddy, Shrimp Daddy, Shrimp Daddy, Shrimp Daddy! Your judo's no match for a tank and cheese attack! <laughs> oh, whatever you do, don't take a step backwards, you guys! Shrimp Daddy! Tank and cheese! Shrimp Daddy! <laughs> Davy Gravy! Shrimp Daddy! This calls for some meatball muscle! Let's do it! Whoa. 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 The meatballs! Uh, easy, Chase. There's nothing you can do. Uh, meatballs, come uh, back! Uh. They'll never 
ever survive that? Davy Gravy, are you all right? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. All right, Meatballs, you're the best! We did it all for you, <laughs> Chase! <laughs> I don't believe it. I should have known all along. You guys are already burnt to a crisp, so a little fire and heat can't hurt you at all. You're the mysterious fourth food on. Ha! Who's full of baloney now? Not you, Bison. Yeah. And not us, either. We're a hundred percent beef. A hundred percent burnt beef, that is. From now on, we're the ones you can turn to when the heat is on. Well, I have to admit, I had my doubts. But those meatballs prove to us all that you can never underestimate the power of a food on. <laughs> yeah, and I've learned that no matter how upset I was about losing Fruit Turtle, there are still things in life that are worth fighting for. Right. Shrimp. Huh? Get it. Shrimp. Get it. Shrimp. Daddy! Trip! Daddy! Trip! Trip! Daddy! Chase, I need some help taking out that tank! You got it, Davy Gravy! Ready, Pie Tin? Let's do it! Now serving Fried Ricer! Fried Ricer! Ha ha! Fried Ricer! Ha! Fried Ricer! And give something special! Give something special! Now serving Sir Dumpling! Chase, use this platinum meal ticket to call your food on Deluxe. Yeah. All right. Now serving Feast of Us. Shrimp Daddy. Shrimp Daddy. Dumpling. Special. Smashing. Special. This is no time for backpedaling, you fickle feline. Okay, Tank and Cheese, fire away! a pot roast in the oven. I'm glad you're a chef again, Chase. Welcome back. Thanks, Albert. 
Well, Chase, when push came to shove, you proved you were ready to fight for what's right. And you too, Albert. I'm glad you're on the side of the rebel chefs. Thanks, Chef Jack. Anything I can do to help the rebels is okay with me. Hmm. Hey, Shrimp Daddy. It's gonna take me a little time to rebuild the hot spring, so why don't you chill with these guys for a while? Shrimp Daddy. Really? Are you sure you don't mind, Davy? Not a bit. I want to keep King Gorge out of my hair, and Feast of Us is the only thing that can do it. Now, will you promise to take good care of him? I promise to do my best. Welcome to the team, Shrimp Daddy. Shrimp Daddy. Hey, why don't you join us, Davy? There's nothing keeping you here. Sorry, Jack, but that's not my scene, dude. But everything you own's been destroyed. And that's why I'm gonna rebuild, because a man ain't nothing without a home and a hot spring to call his very own. That's the Davy Grady philosophy. Philosophy? Sounds more like something he read in a fortune cookie. Unsuccessful yet again, I see. Well, yes, Your Highness, but I have a new plan to eliminate the young dish wizard. Mm. And this time, I assure you, I won't fail. I these monsters once were edible, so everybody take a look at combat creatures you can cook. Fighting Rudolph, that's our leader in between. Fighting Rudolph, this is really in the team. So keep your kitchen for a brawl to start a kitchen free for all. And when your monster takes a fall, whip off a little matzo ball. Fighting Rudolph.